Ladies and gentlemen, the Commissioner just mentioned our award winners again, and we now move to the presentation of the first of those awards. And the first award tonight is a special prize for democracy and human rights, and I'm delighted to invite Hannes Swoboda, Chair of the Group of the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats, for the rest of the evening to be known as the S&D Group, uh, to save my breath, uh, in the European Parliament to come forward, introduce the winner. Uh, over to you, Hannes, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Jackie, and I'm honoured uh, that I have been invited. And may I just have a brief remark to what the Commissioner said? Yes, it's about the social model of Europe, and it's not that. It mustn't be that, and we have to fight for it. And the Commissioner will fully support you and fight for the social model in Europe because we believe in it, and it had so much success, and it's so basic for the solidarity and also for solidarity. The social model of Europe must not be that. That is, of course, not only the social model, but it's also the model of uh, tolerance, the model of protection of civil rights, which is very important. And now I come to the award winner. In July 2011, when all of a sudden we heard the news about a terrible killing on a Norwegian small island, we couldn't believe it. I don't think that anybody who just heard the news how many young people have been killed must have thought that must be a mistake. It cannot be true. And of course all our feelings, our heart, was with the victims and the parents and the brothers and the daughters and whoever of the families of the victims. But there was a second thought and that was, how will the people in Norway react? What would it mean for democracy and tolerance in Norway? How will the political class react? What kind of draconian measures will they take and demand? How tolerance will be buried by these awful killings? And colleagues, we have been, I think most of us, Perhaps some know the Norwegian society better and all neighbors here and very close to the Scandinavian thinking. Perhaps he was not surprised. I must say I was surprised, positively surprised, how the people of Norway reacted, and especially with the leadership of Jens Stoltenberg. They made it clear that enough victims have been done by the killings but the democracy and the tolerance in Norway should not be an additional victim of these dreadful killings. And if just may remind you what uh, Jens Stoltenberg said when he said, I'm proud to live in a country that has managed to stand together in the face of tragedy. I'm impressed over how much dignity, care and strength we have. We're a little country, but a proud people. We are shaken that we will not give up our values. Our response is more freedom, more democracy, but not naivety. Can you imagine how many politicians we have in Europe who could have the courage to say our response is more freedom and more democracy, but not naivety? Jens Stoltenberg did say it, and Stoltenberg did have the support of the Norwegian people, and I think this is enough reason to give an award to Jens Stoltenberg and to the Norwegian people because they are wonderful and they should stay and they should be a model for European response to charity.